Social engineering is a method of tricking victims into giving personal data or access to systems by pretending to be somebody they know or an organization that they trust. Phishing scams are used to collect data or trick users into installing malware. Humans are often the weak point of network security. As well as falling victim to social engineering, people may have weak or reused passwords, click on malicious links, write passwords down, or not cover passcodes when entering them. To protect against social engineering, user education is important, so staff know the signs of a phishing scam. Also, spam filters can detect phishing emails and block them from being opened. Finally, a firewall can block a malicious URL from being opened. Brute force is a trial and error method of cracking a password by trying a large number of combinations in order to eventually enter the correct one. Automated software may be used to try all combinations, starting with common passwords. Protection against brute force attacks includes using strong passwords that won't quickly be guessed by automated software. Account lockouts after three attempts could be used to ensure that attackers can't guess forever. And finally, two-factor authentication may be used, requiring a password and a separate code. A denial-of-service attack floods a web server with a large volume of traffic simultaneously, overloading it and causing it to fail. A distributed denial-of-service attack, or DDoS attack, uses multiple systems, often a botnet, to transmit data. To protect against a DOS or DDoS attack, a firewall can filter out malicious traffic to prevent the server from being overloaded. Also, load balancers can distribute traffic across multiple servers. Finally, a proxy server can filter malicious traffic and hide the server's IP address.